And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hi, I'm Tom Vassell and I'm talking today about the expansion number one felt for Ahambra. Now, I'm talking about the big box edition, although you can buy the expansion number one separate from that. But a tip about the big box edition, it's certainly worth getting because it seems as if it's retailing for 80 bucks at this point in time. And to buy Ahambra plus all five editions is way beyond that. So getting the big box is very, very cost effective. Now, as with each of the expansions for Alhambra, this expansion comes with four modules. I'm going to take a look at each of these four modules, tell you what I think of them, and I'm going to rank them. There's 20 modules in the five expansions. Let's look at these four and see where I rank them amongst the 20 modules. Module 1 is the Vizier's Favor. In this expansion, or this module, each player gets one of these Vizier tokens that they will place in front of them. What's the point of this Vizier token? It's for the board itself. During the course of the game, many times on the board, you're going to find lots of tiles that you want. However, especially in a game that has three or four players, or five, you know, you're not going to get it because someone else is bound to buy it before it comes to your turn. This lets you buy a tile out of turn. On When a tile comes up and it's not your turn, you can simply flip over the Vizier token and buy that tile. See, this one costs seven, but you must be able to pay exact change to buy it. Now this is a useful thing, uh, and but the problem is once you've used it, you've exhausted it. So on a future turn, instead of taking one of your normal actions, uh, buy a tile, take money cards, or redesign your Alhambra, you can flip him back over and then you can use him again in the future. I find this an okay module. It's not the greatest thing in the world. It's interesting and it sure is fun to grab a tile out from someone else's nose. It's nice for its initial use. After that, wasting a turn to unflip it, I could see doing that when there's nothing else to do on your turn, and that, and that could happen. This is a module that I would use occasionally, but not one that I would get too attached to. Module 2 is the Currency Exchange Cards. These cards are shuffled into the deck in a prescribed order, and when they show up, you can take one of them instead of a currency card. And they're Use is very simple. In the future, you can use one of these cards with another currency to change it. So, for example, I could say this five orange is now five green. Or I could use it to the opposite way and say this nine green is now orange. And you can use them to buy things, and it makes the cards in your hand very valuable. I like this, expand this module. It's definitely the best module from the first expansion and because it gives you a lot of options. These are certainly something you want to snap up. They have no initial use, but if you hang on to them, there can come a critical point in the game where the proper usage of these can let you buy uh, two or three tiles on a turn. Uh, a lot of fun, and I think I would play with these much of the time. The third module in Expansion 1 is the bonus cards. At the beginning of the game, depending on how many players, you'll get one or more of these cards dealt secretly to you. If during the course of the game you build the matching building shown on the card, for example, this one here shows the purple 12 building. So let's say I buy the purple 12 building and build it during the course of the game. During scoring, I can flip this card to show that I got the bonus card and it counts as an extra purple building. This is by far my least favorite of all the modules for all the expansions. It, Yes, the idea of showing up, ooh ha ha ha, look what I've gotten, surprise, sounds like an interesting feature. It, in reality, the chance of you getting one of these is really difficult. To buy a specific tile, first of all, you have to hope it comes up, and hope it comes up on your turn, and then buy it. And, and even then, the bonus it gives you isn't really that neat. Uh, sometimes it might matter, but for the most part, this just really fell flat for me. The fourth module in Expansion 1 are the building huts, or the workers' huts. These are placed in stacks, just like I've shown them, next to the board. And one of the actions you can now take when these are included in the game is simply to take one of these and add it to your Alhambra. Now, you can only take three of these over the course of the game, and you have to take the top one from the stack. As you see, each one has a different array of walls. When you place these, in your Alhambra, and let's take a look at how that would work. You must, well you don't have to, but you want to put it next to a color 
of a tile that you already have. When you do that, this module, that building hut now is worth one purple building. If that building purple hut was next to another purple building, then it would be worth two. So for instance, now that purple hut is worth two purple buildings. As you can see, that's already better than the secret bonus because if you manage to get it next to two buildings of that color, it counts as two. Not only are they useful for increasing your bonuses, but they're also useful for increasing your Alhambra. Sometimes you need a piece, specific piece, and you might just take one of these to do it. You think three uh, is maybe too few, and it certainly feels like I, I use all three every time I use this module very quickly, but if you can hold off and buy them at the right time, it can come in handy. So while this isn't an expansion or a module that I use all the time, I, I certainly see the usefulness of it and I don't mind using it at all. Unfortunately, expansion number one is my least favorite of the five expansions, and that's not, that's not all bad. Three of the parts of it I find use for. In fact, the currency exchange cards, I actually like using them, and I wouldn't mind sticking them in, in pretty much any game that I play of Alhambra. But I don't know that I would go out and buy the expansion just for them. Now, as part of the big box, fine. Um, and if you're watching it for that purpose, then hopefully this will help you choose which modules to mix and match in your games. Uh, but if I was buying the expansion separately, I think I would skip number one and go on to some of the others. Thanks for joining us today. For more written, audio, and video reviews, as well as the number one board game podcast, check out the website at www.thedicetower.com. Until then, this is Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower.